What's the word, y'all? I am Words Ella, aka Drew Skills, aka L doing it too. And this is the Words Ella podcast. Uh, today was uh, for me uh, day one of the gym life. Yeah, so uh, I went ahead, I pulled the trigger, if you will. Because I know if I would have kept waiting around and kept trying to find the right time for it and saying when I had the money for it, I had the money. I was like, so I got it. And what else excuse am I going to make? The gym ain't too far. And it's kind of, I can get off work and just go straight there. So, you know, what, what's, the, what's stopping me? What's preventing me? And it was nothing. So as rather than to keep trying to procrastinate in the ways that I was doing, way I, I, I commonly can do sometimes um I just like I said bit the bullet said you know let's go I gotta do this like let's sign up let's get it done so you know today I went swam some laps and um was just thinking a lot about you know I gotta think like man the hip-hop is, is changed and the views of the way that they talk about and the way that they treat health and and what your body is to see any of these artists from from recent times to you know in the last years or so in the last five ten years or so i mean i'm seeing you know to see the royce of five nine who's you know sober five years and you know you can see he's you know consistently talking about being careful with your body and, your, and what you're putting into it and these thoughts and to see snoop dogg recently with what he's been doing he's been working out a lot to see i see noriega talking about it a lot i see styles p with the juices for life and what was it last year sometime seeing that video uh, jada kiss was doing a windmill so i'm like man you know you know the, the elder statesmen are starting to be like man yo this ain't the wave you know and it, it we gotta you know, we gotta switch this up, man, because this ain't cool. This ain't the thing no more. You know what I mean? This ain't the cool thing anymore. It ain't hip to be out here, you know, dying at 50. You know, it's not hip to be out here, you know, unable to, you know, walk up a flight of steps. It's not, it's not you know, that's not, it's not, it's not the thing to do, man. It's not cool, man. And then to know that that's what it's gonna take is for these, the elder statesmen to start putting it in their, you know, in their mind to consistently put it into these younger kids minds yo 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 that that percocet you popping that you know that lean you drinking that all that alcohol you drinking every night all that um you know processed food you eating every day you know man it's gonna it's gonna kill you you know what i'm saying it, it's going to kill you so you know I, i'm i'm I was definitely, like I said, thinking about that, and I was encouraged to just say, you know what, I gotta, I gotta get it. You know, I'm 30 years old. You know, it, it, it was, I should have been doing this a long time ago. You know, it was like after high school, just as time went on, slowly but surely, you know, led to my own vices, doing things. You know, I, I, I just didn't think about what I was doing. You know, I just was doing stuff. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in between a place where I'm like, is that just? A part of being youthful or and I it can't be because there's too many youth that you know they don't ever do any of these things you know I think it's it's the glorification I think it's the way that it's um, presented the way that it's um, put out and uh, and also the fact that it's consistently there in the faces of everybody with the fact that we have these things that I call the God device in your hand every day you can see think ask listen to anything you want um, it's it's um it's a gift and a curse and that's another level of health you know but beyond that i'm speaking more or less about the physical health that, that that's something you can you actually 100 percent can control more times than not you know i mean there is definitely conditions and places where people live where it definitely needs to be some more implementation to have those things accessible to people but the opportunity for you to have it um still requires you to go out and do take the action to know that you should or should not eat certain things or as much maybe you can cut back first but really there's just a lot of things that we've just been taught that are just completely wrong and you know we're fed these in humongous portion sizes and um we're inundated with so much stuff non-stop with you know there's just too much input high input you know creates a lethargic way of thinking because too much light in your brain non-stop it you need you need you don't you need those other waves in your brain those other frequencies you know when you're sleeping and things you know it you can't get that when you're constantly being you know self-gratified with all these different things on your phone and, and and whatever else but you know that creates that can also create the habits of what you might eat because what's quicker for you because now 
eating for you just becomes something you know you have to some people will just think they have to do because they're you know you have to eat food you know you but then they just pick the most ridiculous things and then they're never moving you got people just you know kids inside a lot more playing video games um and just you know sitting around a lot more so you know it's it's important i think to lead those you have to be the example you know saying so these kids can start to see these things so um yeah it's 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 been a thing that i i mean like i said seeing the things that these artists are doing you know it's 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 great you know and i'm i'm again it's encouraging to me you know people don't understand how powerful art is especially music hip-hop you know this is beat and word together you know this is spoken word and rhythm and melody together you know so it, it has a different level of of infiltration if you will but in the best way if it's done right if there's if there's good messaging if there's you know thoughtful thought-provoking ideas being presented over what hip-hop is the landscape of hip-hop is changing by there's a lot of too much everything is too syncopated and things are too on time and, and then there's there's too much heavy bass and there's too much of one one sound one frequency that's occurring on a consistent basis over a wide range you know and that's why it's creating a lot of these conditions where the mind it, we, we are a lot more privy to things than we know but we can't recognize it immediately when it's constantly put in our faces non-stop and then they start to have little nuances and changes that they do that become harder for you to recognize when every day a new story is happening and they're changing that story by the minute so um man i got kind of off on a tangent but that's fine regardless um i really just wanted to do this real quick to just speak about you know the idea of let's put that in the air a lot more let's let's make it a, a point to say health is wealth um your body is your temple you know take care of yourself take care of the ones around you um lead by the examples you want to see you know if you if you're becoming aware of something before maybe your your best friend or your 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 partner or your family member of any kind your mother brother sister cousin whoever your uncles let let that be your way of showing them that's how you do it you know you show them um you can talk to them about it as well but first you have to be the one doing it and be consistent with it to where that if they see you doing it and, and you you make it cool and you and, and you make them feel included with it and let them know that they should come along with you or that you know they should get it and they can do it too and let them know what you're doing and how you're willing to go through the ups and downs of it you know um it'll encourage them more to keep to want to, to do it too and, and see that it's it's the cool thing to do you know you've got to make things hip and cool for people you know that's why we rock with a lot of things it's something about the way something comes off it's said it feels that you want to rock you want to be like that do like that you know so hold yourself high you know you are bigger than you know you you know you are the universe experiencing itself if you will so you know get out here and and, and create something incredible you know what I'm saying? And watch the people around you start to want to do the same things. So that's all I wanted to say. Uh, you know what it is. It's your boy, Words Ella, a.k.a. Drew Skills, a.k.a. L doing it too. The Words Ella podcast. Y'all can check this out. Uh, multiple platforms, obviously. Um, just uh, just holler at me, y'all. Y'all just holler at me out on Instagram. At Words Ella, W-E-R-D-S-I-L-L-A-H. That's the same on Facebook. Check it out on SoundCloud. It's the same for the Anchor app. That's the same for um, mostly everything I'm using right now. Um, appreciate anybody, man. Y'all like, share, comment, let me know, man. Holla at me, man. Y'all be safe out there, man. Peace.